Hey, what's up, guys? Nathaniel here with Philip today. Hi, I'm going to be reacting to the E3 Direct. So, yeah, big expectations. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I got to say, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. I, I, you know, E3 is the big time of the year. We've already got some good announcements from other companies. So. That is true. So, Banjo Kazooie. Uh, I mean, I think it's probably, I, I would hope it would be the most likely, but like, I don't know. I, I don't know like I don't know about most likely but I well I mean there's so many leakers though that are saying oh yeah like Banjo's like like Virgibin was saying did you read what he said no so basically Virgibin said that he would say ninety nine percent chance yeah and one percent chance that it's not him but from all yeah. his sources he says that right. he's going to take so the other options would be like Master Chief we, like we were talking about oh well, yeah right but I'd say more likely would be Steve which yes yeah, Steve, ah, Steve I don't want that though Steve I mean. Steve would be interesting. I mean, Minecraft is just hit, like, number one most sold, sold game it, of all time. Like, so. the thing is, it makes sense, but do I want to see it? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's right, the thing, right, I but agree. It's, it's not um, about me, I guess. It's I mean, about Master the... Master Chief would be, like, because Halo Reach was, our, like, our childhood, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, we used to play that. Yeah, the fucking Banshee. Yeah. Um, <laughs> was not... So, like, between Master Chief, um, what else? Well, I mean... Like, we were talking about, uh... I don't think there's Do really... Doom Slayer. Also, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, there's probably more other than Microsoft, yeah, but, right, like, yeah. the fact that this might actually be happening is, like, this, yeah. you know? I hope but, they, and I definitely hope they go a different direction than, like, Duck Hunt, in terms of, like... Those yeah, big, well, I think they would, I, I definitely, I do, I think they would, too. So I many think. people care about those characters, <laughs> so... For sure. But, like, so you're saying, like, the Pokemon Twitter had something on there? Uh, yeah, so they actually, they tweeted that, they said, hashtag Pokemon fact, uh, 6 at 9 a.m. PDT, which is our time, no. our time, uh, E3 2019. Need we say more? Look out for Pokemon Sword Shield news in today's Nintendo Direct. That's what, so that means we're gonna get information, more information. So it probably won't be a lot. It won't be a lot because you know they just they had just a 15 had, minute yeah. blowout. You know? Yeah, yeah, so, but I mean, I'm sure they'll throw something in there, like. Yeah, it, but it won't be much. Like yeah. it's probably gonna be like one Pokemon Let's, or something. Yeah, there's, there's something up there. Like, oh, oh yeah, it's like kind of glitchy. I mean, as long as we can see it, honestly. Yeah, the quality is just like yeah, not been inconsistent. So it should be starting soon, right? Yeah, it's, it, we got four minutes before okay. it starts. So I'm also expecting. Well, I think we're gonna see Fire Emblem stuff because that game comes out in July supposedly. But also like Luigi's Mansion Three. But I really want to see Animal Crossing. Yeah. And they, I feel like they have to show it, right? Uh, probably. I mean, I feel like they're gonna do some Animal Crossing stuff. I don't know what they probably won't. They since they had the Mario Maker invitation already, I don't think they're gonna show any more information. Yeah, I mean maybe I mean, the game like comes out like this month. In like a couple weeks. Yeah, it so. comes out in like two weeks. But yeah. like people have been saying that there's like might be a hidden mode or whatever. Like Super Mario <laughs> Brothers 2, baby! <laughs> Donkey would be happy, I'll say that. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, it looks like there, like if you look on the screen, it doesn't look yeah. like there's a spot for another mode. So I, I'm curious if they do. That'd be a really good surprise. I mean, now, honestly. I, I like having more diversity in the styles. And, like, that's um, the thing, because this game, it's not, like, just the port, it's, like, a full sequel. Which yeah. I respect them for doing that. Like, the same thing with Smash Ultimate. Yeah, it was I'm like, super happy. That which is way that. better than Smash for Wii U. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's no reason to play that game now. Like, there's literally no reason to play that game. Yeah, unless you want to play a broken bandana. I don't know if bandana That's true. Still so, yeah. Well, I mean, I know Jacob Brenna, if you're listening, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, but... What else is there? Um, so yeah, Ultimate just, I feel like everyone enjoys Ultimate more. Yeah, I, I think that's the game most Nintendo fans are excited about. If I were had to uh, place money on anything, but and I really do want to see Animal Crossing, because I, I like Animal Crossing yeah. quite a bit. I feel like they won't do the character till like, the end. I don't know. The end or beginning. What, what is, do you think they're going to do two or just one? I don't know. I'm feeling one. I'm feeling one, two would be super nice. If because, it was two, I'd say it's Erdrick. From Dragon Quest, like, yeah, because that's the other one everybody's been talking about. I mean, about. like, because they have to release one soon. I mean, Joker no, I think they're going to shadow drop one today. I think it's going to be Banjo. I, I think they could definitely shadow drop one today. The only thing because, that concerns, like, hmm. because of the fact that they just did a patch like last Thursday. That that's true, but like, <coughs> I mean, I go, I get where you're coming from, but and like, that, also I mean, that patch is also pretty. Big in terms of changes. Well, like, I don't think they'd nerf or buff anybody. They, they might just, just add drop the, their character, yeah. Yeah, and maybe some new modes or something. I, like, I can't remember how long ago Joker came out, though. Well, 
But I do want to say real quick, because it's going to start in one minute, yeah. is a couple, or a few year E3s ago, they dropped Ryu, Roy, and Lucas all at once. Oh, really? And Lucas was already confirmed to come out, but, like, you know, he wasn't out yet. <coughs> but they dropped, like, all three of those characters, and then, like, Dreamland, and, like, Suzaku Castle. Like, so... I'm sure we'll get they some could. good Smash Brothers news today. I'm but, thinking. yeah, I, I think there's going to be great Smash Bros. news, but is it going to be two characters? Yeah. Maybe. I, I'm, I'm feeling one. Yeah. They what? always, I mean, like, they always start and end with a bang, I feel like, especially yeah. with these directs. So no, I definitely agree I with I don't know that. what the start will be, if it'll be the Smash character or something else, but I definitely think at the end, if they don't do it at the beginning, they'll do it at the end. There's some, I mean, that's kind of what gets everyone talking, they yeah. keeps them to stay through. And, like, last year it was, like, they ended with Smash, but that was, like, most of their presentation. Yeah. So, like, overall their presentation wasn't really great, but, like, I don't know, it could be different this year because we know about yeah. Smash. Like... Oh, oh, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and here we go. That's still a little low quality, but I think it'll fix it. Okay. Our right, RPM oh. to M. Can you okay. turn it up? Yeah, I'll even turn it up. Sure. Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Stuff showing stuff. Was that, was that Pac-Man? That was Pac-Man. Oh, Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That, Wait, that really? It looks like Pac-Man in, in Mario Kart for some reason. I don't know. That looks like Pac-Man to me. Oh, oh this, this is, is oh this is Smash. This is Smash, right? Okay. Who is it? Uh -huh. Who is it? Though? I don't think it's Banjo. Subspace Emissary? No, 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 no. no. Unless it's, if it's Subspace, that'd be. So this is like worldwide stuff. Oh, is it Erdre? It might be Erdre. I think it's Erdre. That's my character, so... It's, it's, not, it's not Banjo. It's, it's not Banjo. Not banjo. It's not banjo. No, it's a Banjo. Yeah. Oh, I'll probably watch this like 15 more times. Yeah. Don't tell me it's another Fire Emblem character. Wait, who... Who was that? Huh? Jackson would be pissed. Oh, it's a character from Dragon Quest X, I think. Oh, it's the one from Dragon Quest X. The hero. The hero. The what kind of name is that? <laughs> what? The hero. Oh, that stage looks sick, though. Wow. Wow, this is really terrible. That's okay, though. Go, go. Okay. Everyone was thinking Urdrick, but this makes sense. I mean, Dragon Quest X. Slime, is that an assist trophy? The hero, what a name. <laughs> and then they're gonna reveal Banjo! Man, that was not. Echo Fighter, no, I'm just kidding. Oh shit, we're throwing now. Oh, Urdrick! Oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, are these like alternate skins? Erdrick! There he is. So they must. Maybe they're all the same. Like the. Like the. Yeah. Oh shit! That's actually a really good idea! Yeah. That's a good idea! That's pretty sick. Wow! It's Pikachu! Wait, what? 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 What is this? What is this not? What? Do they have their own drop down menu? What the heck? You can blow yourself up? Yo, that's broken! That's dumb! What? It's like Mega Man. That's sick though. Honestly, that's the best way to implement Dragon Quest. Yeah. Times Dragon Quest 11. Whoa. It's 11, okay, my bad. No yeah. banjo, yes. Summer 2019. That's is, summer. Is that it? Is that all? Man, the wine is quite slow. Drop Banjo with me. Yeah, yeah. They have to. Banjo. Who would be, honestly, I feel like who would be the best opportunity to not do Because that's such a huge
So they, and they did convert this from the Swiss last director. That's really cool. I like it. Oh, different from all worlds. No, it's like you can switch between 3D and 2D. Oh. Hello everyone, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo. In this Nintendo Direct for E3 2019, we'll showcase a variety of games, many of them coming soon. But before we dig into the next game, there is someone I'd like to introduce first. <laughs> Doug what? Bowser! What? What are you doing here? <laughs> I love that they're making fun of that. <laughs> Take it over Nintendo. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. There's been a bit of a mix-up. You're not the right Bowser. Sorry, but I'm the right Bowser for this presentation. Not this way. No, no. This way. Bye bye. We get it. Maybe next time. Okay. Are you related? No, but we get that a lot. I love how we can understand. Well, let's get back to it. Please take it away. Hi everyone, I'm Doug Bowser from Nintendo of America, and I'm thrilled to join you for today's Nintendo Direct. This is our chance to show the world we have games for every type of player on Nintendo Switch. Whether you love action, RPGs, or you're just looking for something new, we've got you covered. Okay, so let's get a look at one of those games by taking a tour of Luigi's Mansion 3. Simon's gonna be. <laughs> Hello. This game looks good. Mario. Luigi's invited to a gorgeous hotel with Mario, Peach, and the oh. others. Oh, lucky him. This was our issue. Luigi's Mansion 3. This hotel is much more than meets the eye, for not long after Luigi arrives, things take a dark turn. We begin our tour by taking in some sights and sounds. You may never leave. You want to leave. The other guests certainly don't plan to move on. They're ghosts, after all, and they're rather aggressive. Simply scare them with the straw bulb, then suck them up. Luigi's new Poltergust G00 has the powerful suction capabilities required, and other new features as well. First, the slam. While trapping a ghost, slam it on the ground to inflict oh, some damage. Oh, oh, that's it! Sit on the action. Next, the suction <laughs> shot. Find the plunger to attach it to something, then pull the string, and that's, wow, that's you can destroy furniture and more. It's effective against certain ghost types, too. Sometimes ghosts may feel inclined to hang up on you. In such situations, a burst should do. The powerful air pressure with these two blow away ghosts, and it's perfect for when you need a little air. Ah, we simply can't overlook the latest invention from Professor Egad, namely Gooigi. Change between Luigi and Gooigi to use both their skills. Gooigi can do everything from slipping through metal fences to walking on spikes. Indeed, there are obstacles too great for Luigi to handle on his own. And if you pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend, he makes for a great co-op partner. But proceed with caution. Luigi and water definitely don't mix. Now please direct your attention to the Scare Scraper. Spooky? Sure. 
and it also houses up to eight players for local or online co-op gameplay. Defeat all ghosts before time runs out. Seek and find our dear misplaced toads and face any challenges the tower throws at you. Together. I don't know if I'll get it though, because I'm not like too invested. What we'll a see. place to wake up in. A haunted hotel with floor after floor of oddities. Many traps and mischievous ghosts lurk within. What will befall our missing Mario and friends? And his dear brother Luigi? Their fate rests in your hands. Luigi's Mansion 3. So that was Luigi's Mansion 3, the latest game in a series that I personally love. And we can look forward to seeing some of the new gameplay elements that await in this strange hotel as we dive deeper into this title on Nintendo Treehouse, live at E3 2018. We'll be streaming content, some you've never seen before, right from the show floor including live gameplay of Super Mario sure, Maker 2. And on day three... It's probably because there's a lot of... Oh, it's lagging. Hold on. There's a lot of people accessing it, so... Yeah, what the heck? Why are you lagging? I wouldn't, I wouldn't close out of it, though. But I would give it a second. Doug Bowser, what the heck? Our Treehouse staff will get their hands on some promising indie games that are new to Nintendo Switch. While you watch today's Nintendo Direct, keep an eye out for this icon to learn what other games will appear on Nintendo Treehouse live at E3 2019. You won't want to miss it. Or this. Have a look. Okay. Banjo-Kazooie. Net oh, Netflix? Oh, Chris slept too long. Far too long. <laughs> Sing me your story. Oh, it's the dark what crystal. has become of oh! it's like There are no What have they done? Avarice unchecked for an age. Evil takes root. Darkness spreads. <coughs> but from this dark light, brighter than the three suns, they spark to life. Heroes of the strong and brave. Strength and bravery alone will not save Dra. No! Unlock your true potential. Unite as one! Only together can you defeat what is to come. Heroes of Dra. They're going to need all the help they can get. Yeah, it is. It seems like this. Oh, Link's Awakening, yeah. Oh, yeah. This game might be good. It might be. I mean, the graphical overhaul is really good. Oh, what's the fuck? It's going on, too. It's going on, too. It's going on, too. It's going on, too.
you can make your own dungeon. Oh. Maybe you can make. Oh, maybe. I don't know. It looks like you are kind of like customizing it. So. Maybe I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Just want to get the Yoshi. Oh. <coughs> That's a release thing. I thought it was gonna come out in like August. Just because you're a PS5. Square Enix. to meet back at the monastery exactly five years from today. Like a class reunion? You will come, won't you? <laughs> years ago, we fought here as classmates. As big class reunions go, this one's gotta be the worst in history. What should we do, teachers? Kill every last one of them! <laughs> We have no choice but to eliminate those who cling to unreasonable ideas of justice. Someone must put a stop to the cycle of the strong trembling the weak. So Yet we have the strength to scale the walls between us, to reach out our hands in friendship so we can open our true hearts to one another. That's how we win! How lovely it would be for this moment to last forever. Nintendo Switch, uh, Nintendo Switch is the only gaming console you can play not only on your TV at home, but anywhere you go. In fact, with a system like this, it might be fun to play Resident Evil at a location like this. What? Perfect, right? No lights. 
No lights. Hey, we're there. Okay. Let's do this. Resident Evil. This is like the original. Can you open it? Try. It's supposed to be there. Did it just eat him? It's gonna come back. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, okay. Someone behind you. Oh, it's Reggie. Oh. It's Reggie. Got it. Just remind you about it. Oh, I knew it. And we're also new. I don't know. Oh. Hello, it's me, Yoshi. Playing a Resident Evil game in a place like that might not be my way to play, but I bet you could find your way to play, don't you think? For now, please take a look. Well, it was today the 4th of July? If not, is the Empire striking back or what? Oh, this track looks like things out. are gonna get weird today. Hey, see! Your call, the battle's already started? If you get in our way, we will eliminate you. We will eliminate you. 
Yeah, you but... have to blow this out at E three, I would think. Yeah. Because that it's just such a huge thing. Unless he's not in it. What other time are they gonna? Do this That's what I'm saying. Like, I figured that they wait on the Guessing at this, like this is an old Sega game. It just reminded me of those things that happened. That's why. That is what that that looks good. Konnichiwa. Hello, I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. Earlier this month, we held a Pokemon Direct for the latest games in the series. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. The developers from Game Freak showcased the new Galar region, the location of your new adventure, and some new Pokemon you'll encounter. It will be a while until these games launch, so please stay tuned. That's so weird. How does that even work? By the way, in these games, you can use certain functions of the Pokeball Plus accessory, allowing you to take a Pokemon from one of these games out for a stroll through the real world with you. You may not be able to use the device as a game controller, but if you spend some quality time with a favorite Pokemon of yours, then something good might happen. In the Nintendo booth at this year's E3, fans can play Pokemon Sword, and Pokemon Shield for the first time anywhere in the world. In this gameplay demo, you can challenge one of the gyms in the Galar region, the one and only Water Gym, where the water type gym leader Nessa will be there waiting for you. If you're attending this year's show, I encourage you to experience a battle between Dynamax Pokemon, which is an advanced strategy for this region. Also, Immediately after this Nintendo Direct, stay tuned for live gameplay of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield on Nintendo Treehouse Live. And now I'd like to shift gears. Please have a look at this. That was good. I mean, that was all they needed. Yeah, I figured that Oh, this is the Astro. I've been waiting for you. As you know, Earth is currently under extra-dimensional attack. Chimeras. Like the ones you've just seen for the first time. At this rate, all of humankind will be pulled into the Chimeras dimension. We're facing down the end of the world. I'm so excited. Good blood. By neurologically syncing captured chimeras with human operators, we established control and made powerful allies. I am referring, of course, to the legions. I'll give you some parting advice. Your power. It's not the blessing you think it is. When a Legionis and a Legion are perfectly synchronized, it's like they're two parts of one body. No use! The override release isn't going through! How is it possible? And when half of that body is about to die, the Legion's survival instincts kick in to save it. No way! There's no way! What good could this possibly be? It's a long shot, but it's the only shot we have. It's all up to you, my friend. A blessing from the Legion. Or maybe I should say, a curse. We can't turn back now. I've got to know the whole truth. He's still alive out there. I know he is. Cool. I like that. That was cool. I was 30. Oh, okay. 
That might be something we'll have to check out. Platinum Games. Oh, it's Platinum Games. Hey. I was going to say, I was like, it's not over. Sonic at the Olympic Games? Is this a new one? Yeah, it's a new one. Dr. Eggman! So, what do you think so far? Now for some follow-up information on a game that fans have been waiting for. Please, take a look. Why does he Thanos every time? <laughs> Your attention, please. The Nook Inc. getaway package charter yep. flight will yeah. be arriving at the deserted island. <laughs> I love this series. It's a pretty, pretty good series. Like, 
Any guess what the Final Fantasy IV for the Switch and the Kirby Epic Yarn thing? <laughs> he must have been saying. He looks like relaxing or What? You can jump across the water? Originally, we announced this title as a 2019 release. However, we need to change its release date to March 20th of 2020. To ensure that the game is the best it can be, we must ask you to wait a little longer than we thought. We hope you look forward to the latest installment of Animal Crossing. On Nintendo Treehouse Live, the game's producer, Mr. Nogami, and the director, Ms. Kyogoku, will come on for a live demonstration of some early moments in the game, so please stick around until it starts. By the way, there are many different types of games coming to Nintendo Switch from Nintendo and our partners. So, we've prepared a highlight reel to show you what's in store for 2019 and beyond. Let's have a look! I'm real- I'm stuck on it! Dude, they got him! <laughs> it doesn't be 
gonna like, be, he's gonna be like, 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 fuck you! And now they're gonna do a banjo. <laughs> now banjo's gonna slap Oh, him. don't do this! There we go. Yeah, yeah. baby! That's sick. Let's go! That's People sick. said it wasn't gonna happen! Let's go, baby! Yes! I wanna see the game play. Yes! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I wanted this to happen for so long! Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness! Oh, I told you it was gonna happen! Oh, oh, thank you, Sakurai! Thank you, Sakurai! Oh. But that went through the board smash? What? Yo, it's Gruntola! Oh, Gruntola's Mountain! Oh! 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 Dude, I will give you a hug if it's today. Give me a hug. Oh, okay, oh. so that's the fall character summer is... Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, oh, literally, okay. They that would. obviously wasn't Duck Hunt silhouette, was it? Please stay tuned for more information all I about wanted. DLC in That's the future. That's literally all I wanted. As for Nintendo Switch, we have more games in development beyond oh, what we've shown you today. Most wanted characters for Smash ever. I'm looking forward to the day we can introduce them to you. Wow, we got Banjo and Kazooie, and we got... Speaking of, before we end this direct, I actually have one more thing to show you. Oh, Pikmin 4? F-Zero? Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Dude, as soon as they came out, I was like, I, they're, it's going to be a rare related thing. What is this? This is Zelda? Zelda? This is Zelda. This is Zelda. Oh! This is Zelda. Zelda. Oh! No, but it looks like Breath of the Wild. It does. It looks like Breath of the Wild. Not really. That would be interesting. That's so fast, I think. I don't know. I'm, I'm, if it is a sequel, I'm super excited. Dude, I'm if, it's, I, if it's just DLC, it's still exciting. Yeah. St I still can't. The sequel is now in development? That's... Dude, this great Nintendo Direct. Great. Th there's so many announcements that are I so mean, hype. I no mean, More Heroes 3, Banjo-Kazooie, new Zelda game, Animal Crossing. Holy shit. Shit, yeah. I'm still processing the fact that Banjo Kazooie's in Smash! Yeah, dude. After all these years! My goodness! Hey, good morning, everybody, wow. and welcome to E3 Unbelievable. 2019. Unbelievable. I'm Doug Bowser from Nintendo of America, and he is Bill Trinan from <coughs> Nintendo Treehouse. Yeah. We're here at the Nintendo booth. We're going to spend a couple minutes talking about what we just saw in that Nintendo Direct, and we're going to give you a sneak peek of the booth. Damn, dude. So, Bill. I don't know about you, but I think there's a lot of folks out there that are pretty excited about what they just saw. Well, Doug, I think it goes without question that I, myself, am a huge fan of the Legend of Zelda series. Uh, like a lot of people, I've put a lot of time into the Breath of the Wild. So, personally, I am incredibly excited that we're not getting new DLC. We are getting a full sequel, a brand new game in development for Nintendo Switch. Um, so, I hope... Hopefully everyone out there is excited as well. Um, certainly if you're a Zelda fan, there was a lot to like in this Nintendo Direct. A lot of other things as well. Uh, lots of games for lots of players, from Dragon Quest XI-S to even things like Panzer Dragoon, uh, the Dark Crystal, Astral Chain looking great. Was there anything in the Direct that stood out to you? For me personally, I'm looking forward to Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm a huge fan of the series. 
And I look forward to being able to walk through this, the various levels of this spooky hotel with my sidekick, Gooigi. And the thing I'm actually really looking forward to is the new Poltergust and its updated uh, capabilities, including the slam move. It's going to be a lot of fun killing, killing ghosts with killing ghosts with ghosts. That's right. And, uh, it feels really good, too. Yeah, I, I have a feeling this game's going to uh, suck up a little bit of my time. Just a dad joke. That was a dad joke, sorry. Okay. <laughs> you know, one other thing I'm really excited about is, uh, is what we got on the floor here, and that is uh, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. That's right. I think this year is probably the most space we've ever dedicated in our booth to a Pokemon game. Uh, the booth looks fantastic. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and take give you a quick sneak peek of that. Um, it's themed on the water gym, and what we've done is we have recreated the gym leader battle arena. So everybody here at E3 is going to get a chance to play Pokemon Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield, in the environment of the Gym Leader Battle Arena, and I think that's going to be really great for them. But we have something special for everybody watching live. Uh, 